Hello everyone! How are you today? It is my prayer that you still have with you the enthusiasm to learn. I am Teacher Leia Roncado Girigay of Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nabunturan West District, your Science 10 teacher for the day. Before we start, please see to it that you have your Science Module Quarter 2, Module 2. If you do not have it with you, have at least a notebook and a pen for you to take down notes. I hope that you have maximized the video lesson on Module 1 since Module 2 is about the applications of electromagnetic waves. At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to cite examples of practical applications of the different regions of the EM waves, such as the use of radio waves in telecommunication. Let us assess how well you have understood about the electromagnetic spectrum. Ready? Let us take the first five items in page one of your module. Number one, which of the following is not a type of electromagnetic wave? I repeat, which of the following is not a type of electromagnetic wave? A, ultraviolet. B, ultrasound. C, x-rays. D, visible light. The correct answer is letter B, ultrasound. It isn't an EM wave because ultrasound uses sound waves. I hope you got it right. Number two, which wave causes sunburn? Which wave causes sunburn? A. Infrared B. X-ray C. Ultraviolet D. Microwave The answer is Letter C. Ultraviolet or UV Just a bit of information, there are two types of UV, UVA and UVB. UVA has longer wavelength and is associated with skin aging. UVB has a shorter wavelength and is associated with skin tanning and skin burning or sunburn. Number three, what EM wave is used to increase the heat energy of food? What EM wave is used to increase the heat energy of food. A. Infrared B. Microwave C. UV ray D. X-rays The correct answer is letter B. Microwave Are you not curious how microwave ovens work? Microwave ovens work by utilizing microwaves to heat the water in the food. Water absorbs the energy and turns it into thermal motions that cause the temperature of the food to increase. You may not appreciate this now, particularly if this is not the family's priority. But at least, the next time you buy a refrigerated food in 7-Eleven, you will be able to understand how your food is being heated. Number four, all electromagnetic waves travel through a vacuum at. Again, all electromagnetic waves travel through a vacuum at. A, the same speed. B, speeds that are proportional to their frequency. C, speeds that are inversely proportional to their frequency. D. None of the above. You got it right! EM waves travel through a vacuum at the same speed. Letter A. In fact, it is about 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second or 300 million meters per second. 
Number five, electromagnetic waves are. Electromagnetic waves are. A. Longitudinal. B. Transverse. C. Both longitudinal and transverse. D. None of the above. Yes, you're right. It is letter B. Transverse wave. How did you fare in the review? If you got 4 to 5, you did great. If you got lower than that, then I suggest that you have to go back to the concepts presented in Module 1. Remember, the regions in the EM spectrum model, as shown in your module, is arranged in increasing frequency and decreasing wavelength. Hence, a radio wave has the longest wavelength but has the least frequency, while a gamma ray has the shortest wavelength and the highest frequency. Okay. Please bear this in mind. This time, we will talk about their applications. What are the applications of radio waves? I bet you like to listen to the FM radio. Radio broadcasting, whether AM or FM, is one of the applications of radio waves. Not only that, it also includes TV broadcasting, radio communication, and satellite communication for super high frequency radio wave. Page 3 of your module provided a list of radio wave frequencies and their applications. Then we have microwaves. Other than raising the temperature of our food, what else are the applications of a microwave? You got it right! It is also used in satellite communications, radar, and television transmission. You might be confused how radio wave is categorized differently from microwave if they are both utilized in communication. Well, other than the frequency and the wavelength, radio waves are omnidirectional, meaning they can travel in all direction, which facilitates communications both in indoor or outdoor. This means that communications using radio waves offer poor security. Microwaves, on the other hand, is unidirectional in nature, meaning they can only travel in straight line. When used in communication, this offers medium security. Microwaves are best used in one-on-one -on -one communication, say between a sender and a receiver. Next is infrared or IR. Rescue rovers during calamities, for instance, have to analyze the emitted infrared of an obstacle to determine if it's from a living person or not. Yes, the human body radiates infrared. Other objects emit IR too, but of varying degree. Other uses include infrared camera, night vision goggles, like the ones we see in movies. While wearing night vision goggles, images appear in different colors depending on the intensity of the temperature. Say, shades of blue and green indicate regions of cooler temperature. Red and yellow indicate warmer temperature. IR is also used in taking photos from a satellite. Thermal scanners used in checking body temperature, remote controls, some autofocus cameras. Are you still with me? Perhaps you have to stretch your back a little. I hope you have grasped the concepts so far. Moving on, the next EM region is the visible spectrum. What are the applications of visible light? Yes, you're right. It made us see. 
the line of sight is possible because of the light. Visible light can also be concentrated to make lasers such as the ones used in surgery. Even those for CD players and laser pointers. Since light can make a C, does it mean it is totally harmless? What do you think? Well, it is basically harmless. However, some light can be so intense that it can damage the receptor cells in your eye, causing temporary or permanent blindness. High-powered lasers can also be damaging and will cause burns. Next, we have ultraviolet UV. We know that this can make our skin tan or even cause sunburns. Other than those mentioned, what else are the useful applications of UV? UV lamps, which are used by banks to check the signature on a passbook. It is also used in sterilizing water from drinking fountains. With the right amount, it produces vitamin D in the skin. Then we have X-ray. It is used in X-ray photography, which helps doctors look inside our body. This is useful in diagnosing bone fractures and tumors. Finally, the gamma rays. Gamma rays are used to treat cancer through the process called radiotherapy. We've reached the end of the lesson. I hope you have learned something new. Now, let us assess your conceptual understanding of this module. Turn to page 20. Focus on the items requiring you to fill in the blank with the type of EM that is used in each application. Number one, satellite communications. Again, satellite communications. Good job! It can be radio wave or microwave. Number two, texting. Again, number two, texting. Yes, it is microwave. Number three, TV broadcasting. Again, TV broadcasting. You are right, radio wave. Number four, radar. Again, number four, radar. Correct, it is radio wave. Number five, checking bank book signature. Again, checking bank book signature. Good job! It is ultraviolet. Well done, grade 10 learners. That is all for today. But before we end this lesson, may I remind you again to follow the minimum health protocols, maintain a healthy mind and body, stay home and be safe always. We are all in this together. God bless us all. Once again, this is Teacher Leia Runcado Girigay of Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nabunturan West District. Remember, dito, sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!